On this episode, I show you where Elvis's seventh grade class photo was captured, plus other sights in Tupelo. Stay tuned. So here is Elvis's class picture in the seventh grade at Milam Junior High School. Now check out the girl on the second row, second from left, with the jacket on. That was Evelyn Hems. And Evelyn received a camera the summer before the uh, this picture was taken. And she brought it to school one day and had a picture taken with her class. That's how we have this picture today because of that girl right there on the second row, second from the end, second on the left there. Evelyn Hems. And look at Elvis there on the third row, far right, standing in front of his teacher. In overalls, looks like a nice button shirt. Kind of looks like his hair is slicked back here in 1947 when he was in the seventh grade in Tupelo. But that is Elvis Presley. And just check out all the kids there with the smiles on their face. And notice one thing, you know, like I said, Elvis is in overalls. Evelyn said that was one thing they always remembered. And as I'm about to read you a few other little stories from classmates, Elvis always wore overalls. And later on in life, he never wore blue jeans again. So Elvis would have been standing right in this area in that picture. So Evelyn Hems recalled that she remembered during this year that the picture was captured that Elvis sang two songs during an annual uh, program at the school. And she can't really remember at the time of the interview that I'm reading what the two songs were. But she said it wasn't Frankie and Johnny or Old Shep, I can tell you that. So Elvis did sing to his classmates during 1947 in Tupelo. Evelyn also mentioned in an article that both her and Elvis had a January birthday. So she said one day in January of 1947, Evelyn Carter and the world's first superstar, Elvis, stood in front of the class while the rest of the class sang happy birthday to them. So that was one of her fondest memories of being a classmate with Elvis Presley. So here's another classmate story that I found of going to school here at Milam Junior High with Elvis. And this guy's name was Roland Tyndale. Roland said that Elvis frequently brought his guitar to school. We had a basement at Milam. That was our recreation area at recess, lunchtime and on rainy days. It was a place where we could go and run and play and be out of the weather. We would go down in that basement and Elvis would pick his guitar and sing and tell us one day he was going to be on the Grand Ole Opry. We were all very doubtful of that, but we didn't say anything to him about it. Didn't want to shatter his dreams. Roland recalls that Elvis would often sing during the free period. I remember him singing Old Shep during these free periods, said Tyndale. I enjoyed listening to him sing that because I was a country person and my father played the guitar, my mother played the guitar, and I was musically inclined. Elvis was the only one I ever knew to bring his guitar to school. I remember Elvis wearing overalls to school. His hair slicked down with oil, that his hair was more brown than black. Some of the other students dressed better and, and looked better, but they were putting on a show for everyone. Tyndale's fondest memory came during Christmas time of that seventh grade year that I showed you in the picture. It said that Elvis and I and Billy Welch exchanged gifts. He gave me a little metal truck. I don't remember what I gave him. What was so memorable about that truck was it had been one of his own toys. It was used, but he wanted to give me something. So he gave me one of his used toys. But I never embarrassed him by telling anyone he had given me a used toy. I still have it up in my attic somewhere. So here is Elvis during the time that he would have been in the 7th and 8th grade there at Milam Junior High School with his girlfriend, Magdalene Morgan. And I found a story that she talked about when she knew Elvis. And what Magdalene said was that she guessed that her infatuation with Elvis started in the Assembly of God Church 
up in East Tupelo. Elvis sang and he picked the guitar and I sang and played piano. I was the church pianist when I wasn't but eight or nine years old. We were always in Christmas plays together up at the church. I always played opposite Elvis, which really thrilled me a lot. One time I remember he was one of the wise men and I was one of the angels. Another time he was Joseph and I was Mary. Magdalene said that her and Elvis would sing a lot. They would hold hands and talk. We would go for walks in the woods out behind his house, and he would talk about what he wanted to be when he grew up. He always talked about wanting to be a singer, and he would marry someone who would have to be a lot like his mama. And this was when we were 10 or 11 years old on up in there. He was just my little guy, you know. At the time, I was very young, and I didn't expect my life to end or go anywhere without Elvis because he was my man. So maybe, friends, I'll do a video one of these days on Magdalene and tell more of her story with Elvis. But yes, this was Elvis's girl in Tupelo, Mississippi, up until he left for Memphis, Tennessee. So another interesting place that I found in Tupelo, Mississippi that you guys can visit when you're uh, in town is a place that Elvis stayed at in 1956, a motel. Let's go explore. So September the 26th and 27th, 1956, Elvis comes back to Tupelo and plays the Alabama-Mississippi Fair at the fairgrounds, the famous Elvis concert in Tupelo. And guess where he stayed at? Right here where you're looking at. This was the old Rex Hotel Court, and the building and the suites are still there. Elvis stayed in a suite here with his mom and his dad, Nick Adams, and Anita Wood when he played Tupelo in 1956. And check this postcard out. The Rex Plaza Hotel Court, U.S. Highway 45 and 78, Tupelo, Mississippi. Look how upscale it was then, there during the time that Elvis would have been here. These rooms were actually there. Elvis would have stayed in one of these rooms. I'm not sure exactly which one as of yet. Stay tuned. But we know Elvis was here when he played Tupelo, Mississippi in 1956 in his homecoming. Now, this place was an upscale hotel when it was made. It had a uh, ballroom inside the main building there on the front. It had a uh, restaurant, which it still has a restaurant, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But this rest place, this hotel, was very upscale and a place that was very prominent here in Tupelo, Mississippi during the uh, 1950s and 60s. Here is a overhead picture of the plaza, the Rex Plaza Hotel, and all of those buildings, like I said, are still there, which is great for us with the Elvis story. Now, I invite you, if you're in Tupelo, to search Woody's Steakhouse and eat here. So you can be at a place where Elvis stayed in Tupelo, Mississippi. Hey, do you fans know where Elvis's mother worked at in Tupelo, Mississippi? Let's go check it out. Now this building is where Elvis's mother worked when she was pregnant with Elvis. Inside of here was the sewing factory on the top floor where Gladys Presley worked. And I have been in the building. It's unbelievable, huge. I recommend you guys, if you're in Tupelo, you can stop and go inside there. It's now an antique store, Relics Marketplace. And they are big Elvis fans. Even on their Facebook, on their website here, it says Elvis Presley's mother Gladys worked while pregnant with him. So yes, this was the Tupelo Garment Company where Elvis's mother Gladys was a sewing operator right here in this building. I believe it was up on the third floor. And I highly recommend you guys to stop here at Relics Marketplace to see another place in Elvis's history. So once again, thanks for watching to the end. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video of Tupelo. I wanted to upload it here during this time because this past weekend would have been the Tupelo Festival. But unfortunately, because of this COVID-19 pandemic that we're having that was canceled and won't be uh, held again till next year so no Tupelo festival for 2020 but glow trotting with Trey and spa guy and Ashley Drew have you covered so thank you guys for subscribing and watching and that reminds me don't double dribble if you haven't already subscribe to glow trotting with Trey 
It's free, doesn't cost you a thing, and you stay updated with every new video that I upload, which is once every week and special videos here and there. Hey, and if you're new to my channel, I have over right now 26 videos on Elvis that you don't want to miss. So go back and click on my videos and explore all the different videos I have done so far and stay tuned because I have some really good ones coming up. I'm excited. Can't wait to, to put them together and see what you guys think about them. I, uh, I've made a few trips here lately and stayed, you know, six feet apart. My social distancing is on point. I'm trying to make sure I stay as healthy as it can be so I can be here for you guys filming these uh, great stories on one of the greatest entertainers, well, probably the greatest entertainer of them all time, Elvis Presley. Thanks again for watching. Till next time, I'll see you down the road.